<laughs> yeah, we already laughing. You know what time it is. It's that weekly Chicago Bears show, baby. <laughs> America's team, man. You know what it is, boy. Let's get it. We are the Bears. Shuffle crew. Shuffle on down. Doing it for you. Yeah, baby. Bears, baby. We had a bye week. We kicked the bye week by we kicked the bye week's ass by 40 points this week. Woo! <laughs> It's about to go down. You know I love them sorry ass bears, man. I'm your host. Welcome to the Tell the Truth Podcast. I'm your host, Shot Town Neil Man. Well, let's give it up for the bears. <laughs> Fucking America's team. I mean it. Missed them boys this Sunday. I almost cried, man. Football wasn't the same without them bears, man. To my left, man, my host, BTB, what's that for? Bowtie Bill. Man, welcome to the Tell the Truth Podcast, man. Before I get to acting a fool, I'm about to act entire ass this whole <laughs> this whole show. Bowtie Bill, tell the people what we need, baby. <laughs> man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, right? As well as the notification button. You know, drop something in the comment section. Tell us what you think about what we're doing. Tell us that you're rolling with us. Tell us that, man, y'all need to do something that's different. Whatever the case may be. Drop something in the comment section. We appreciate everything you're doing. And don't forget to tell others, family members and friends, the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. That's Thank right. you for everything. I appreciate it, Bowtie Bill, man. Absolutely. We down here in the beautiful North Dallas studio, man. Maximize your potential studio, man. Today I'm rocking my boy. Shouts out to my boy. I know some people might think this is the oldest Wilson jersey. My older crowd by my age. Sorry, this is not oldest Wilson. I got on the Lance Briggs jersey. Oh, a replica, the 1947, the orange stripes, no white trim, just orange. It's just, man, it's, oh God, dog, we're America's team, dog. How could you not love these colors, both I build? Man. Y'all beat the bye week by how many points? We beat the bye week by 30 points. <laughs> I thought it was 40. Yeah, you're right, it was 40. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's get to it, baby. Both I build, let me talk to him. Man, let me tell you. The media hating dog. Yeah, they hating dog. They hating on Caleb. Who's hating, bro? Man, the media's hating. Green Bay? No, 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 no. You have to got some Green Bay fans saying, yeah, man, y'all might have a quarterback. The media's wow. hating dog. Okay. So I'm on the night. I'm watching Nightcap. I'm watching you know, Ocho Cinco talk to you know Unk. And they was all talking about Caleb Williams. I'm like, okay, they're saying he didn't play good the first three games. All true. But it's certain things I hear people say. I'm like. What did he just say? He said to he said, "Yeah, Caleb has a chance to be a, another good young quarterback." Now if he would have said, "Who said this?" Ocho said this. Ocho okay. and and Shannon agreed. Let him okay. hear me out. Okay. okay. He said he got a chance to be a good, nice young quarterback, like you know Jalen Hurts. Okay, Jalen Hurts is a young quarterback. I can C.J. Stroud. Okay, C.J. Stroud to me only played one year, but all right, he is. A, and I forgot the other quarterback. And then he said also Jane like Daniels. Jaden Daniels. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, so you saw that? that? And I was like. No, no, I, no, I did not. You he's about to say. I, about no, to say. I did not. And I'm like, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Jaden Daniels is getting so much of a hall pass over Caleb? And it's like, what you mean he's going to be a nice young quarterback he, uh, like, like the Jaden Daniels? Like, okay, all right, okay, all right, like, okay. <laughs> And then all this, you hear Caleb hasn't played anybody. That now that drum is starting to beat. I'm like, y'all just gonna keep on motivating this kid. And I'm like, okay, so uh, watch the play Carolina's week. So did the Bears. Now, unfortunately, Jaden Daniels did get hurt. So we you know I'm not hating on Jaden Daniels. So only you watch the fans like I hear you hating. No, I'm not hating. I'm just saying that I don't believe Jaden Daniels is that much significantly better than Caleb. Like they acting like. You know, he could be another good young quarterback like Jaden Dan. And I'm hearing this for several plays. I'm like, okay, we do know in the last three weeks. Now, you go look at the last three weeks. Now, if you're going to take the whole season, I'll give it to you. In the last three weeks, Caleb has outplayed Jaden Daniels, and it's not even close. It's not even close. So when you say that, <laughs> uh, what, what what are you looking at when you say that? I mean, okay, in his last three games, mm -hmm. Caleb has seven touchdowns, one interception. Okay, 
passer rating uh, three games ago, I think it was like 80-something against uh, the Rams. But then 122 against Carolina, and then when we go across the seed, he, he went down a little bit. 122, yeah, exactly. sorry, to 120. <laughs> 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 he come up, man, stop. <laughs> stop, man. And it was some crazy stat, like, it was something crazy, like he's the uh, – like the first rookie quarterback, uh, I think like it was something crazy. Even Jay didn't even did, did. It was like he he was over seventy five percent completion, four touchdowns. I think he had over fifty yards rushing. He first rookie. I'm like, you understand? Like I understand Jaden's getting all the flash early. I get it. I get it. But if you know what you're truly looking at, just didn't want to be a, a hater. Like, come on, man. He uh, he is not, especially last three games. He's definitely not playing better than Caleb. Now, this is how you also know the fix is in and the media is hating, okay? The week we went to, okay, to London, London Motel man. Bill, this man goes over there, does something that no rookie's done, like, I think Lamar, maybe never. I forgot, it's like three, only, three or four people only did it. Even Jaden Daines, I did it. You know, 75% completion, uh, four touchdowns, and over 50 yards rush. Something crazy. It was like, I can't forget, remember what the third one was, but it was something ridiculous, right? Mm hmm. And he still don't win Rookie of the Week. He gave it to James Daniels, who had two touchdowns that week and a loss to Baltimore. And I'm like, okay, I'm paying attention to, like, how they just keep moving the goal. But I'm like, all right, man, y'all got to really stop this, man. Like, okay, now this is subliminal hate that made people think that, that this kid is so much better than, uh, than Caleb. And I'm like, dude, it's like first two, three weeks, I'm like, man, Jaden looks better than him. If you take the overall season – Okay, it's neck and neck. I get it because you got to consider the first three games Caleb played. But if you take the last three games, my boy, for all you Washington fans, it's not even close. He ain't even sniffing Caleb the last three games. So what I'm saying is first three games, Jaden. Overall season is close because of the fact how great Caleb played the last four games, basically. It started the second half of that, uh, of that coast game, truth be told, that game they hadn't passed 53 times. Yeah. But – the last three games, it's like it's not even close. Now, the only thing I really do hate, but I'll let you respond back on that bow tie. Bill, what's your thoughts on that? My fault. Oh, no doubt, man. Uh, Jaden Dennis came out the gate. Yes. Rolling. Yes. You know, touchdown, dropping dimes. Mm hmm And Caleb Williams is trying to, you know, crawling around on his hands and knees figuring it out. Facts. Okay? Yep. Mm hmm But now it seems as if, the game is slowed down. And we talked about this two weeks ago. Yep. How now the game is slowed down. He going from 3.5 seconds to down to 2.8 seconds. Exactly. 2.7 seconds on throwing the rock. Mm -hmm. Now he's not turning the ball over. All of a sudden he's throwing three touchdowns, four touchdowns, you know, you know, and dropping dimes. Dimes. Right, I mean, down back shoulder pass in the end zone. Like, <laughs> right. he, it's like, dude. it's like, it's like now he's he he has caught up with the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to your point, the first four games, I the first three games I would give to Daniels, the last three to Caleb Williams, and to your point, neck and neck. But you still have to Daniels overall mm -hmm. probably has played a little better over, over the six games, but let the uh, season continue to progress. Let the season to, uh, continue to materialize, and Caleb Williams should win Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I, I believe he should win Rookie of the Year too yeah. if he keeps playing the way he's playing yeah, on the same trajectory. If they both stay on their same trajectory, mm -hmm. right? Caleb Williams should win Rookie of the Year. All right. So what we're gonna do is that I know Jason. Um, unfortunately, Daniels did get hurt this week, and I'm definitely never would cheer for any man to get hurt. No. Um, so I, what I'm saying is that even though they play seven games, Washington has. We're gonna say that he plays six because Caleb played six. Now what I can tell you right now is in passing yards, uh, Daniels has fourteen hundred, one thousand four hundred and ten. Williams has one thousand three hundred and seventeen. All right. Keep in mind the first two games combined, Williams barely had two hundred. So since game three, Williams has outpassed him. All right. But you want to do the whole season. That's cool. Wanna do the whole season. Williams only up by a hundred yards. Okay. Now if you want to do Daniels up by 100. I mean, yeah, Daniels. I'm sorry. Daniels up by a hundred yards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I was gonna say the next one's gonna ask to put on here is uh Williams is passing for now Daniels right now. This is how you know he's gonna get passed up. 
per game, per game. Now, they have on this can't be right, is it? Let me look at it. Per game, yeah. Daniel is averaging just 200 yards per game. Okay, are right, they gonna add that set? They're gonna add that game he did play this week, which he really didn't play. All right, so I'm not gonna really use that stat because he didn't play the whole um, eighth game. What is it, five and two? So they played seven. He didn't really play the seventh game. I'm not gonna take his average into consideration because Williams' average is higher than him, but that's not fair to Daniels because of the fact he he got an extra game added against him that he didn't finish or complete. What is the yards per attempt? Uh, that Daniels is higher. Uh, Daniels is eight point one. Williams is six point six. Okay. But in the last three games, Williams was higher than Daniels. But for the season, Daniels higher. Uh, touchdowns. Now, this is the one that really makes me laugh. This is the one that really makes me laugh. This is how you know you're seeing a lot of highlights. When I saw this stat, I was like, that's all he got? I thought he had way more than this. Daniel, Daniel has – how many touchdown passes do you think Daniel got? Six. He got six. That's one touchdown pass a game. Daniels is scrambling and scoring a lot running, okay? Caleb has nine touchdown passes. Nine touchdown passes. As a matter of fact. Now, hold on, let me say one more thing. And okay. keep in mind, Caleb didn't have no touchdown passes the first two games. Okay? So let that sink in. If I say, it, it, it's heating up. And he and he going to pass him up. Go ahead, my father, go ahead. Hasn't he tied the Bears record for a rookie on throwing touchdown passes? He might have already. I know the rookie passing. I think he tied it. I think, I think he tied, I think it, at he tied nine, it at nine. Which means he's going to break it. He's going to break it, yeah. And, <laughs> Obviously, right? Because right? he only played, what, seven games? Right. No, no five, six. 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 Right, six games. And, um, I was on the bye. Mm-hmm. And then the uh, passing record is 2,200 by Justin Fields. So he's going to – He's going to break that. The way looking, That's 900 yeah. yards. Yeah. He's at 1,300 right now. Right. Yeah, so yeah. The, way, the way it's looking. So it was another one I wanted to bring up. So he's got nine. Now, I will say accuracy, um, uh, Daniels is better. Daniels has two. Williams has five. Keep in mind. But I know two I'm what? You talking about uh, interception. Interception. Keep in mind, four uh, uh, just, I mean, Caleb's interceptions were in the first three games. One in the last three. But still, Daniels is beating him for the season. He has two. Two is five. Okay, now it was one that really caught my eye. I was like, wait a minute, what, what is this? Go to, uh, um, what Q- about rushing? You want to look at QBR? Okay. QBR, I'm pretty sure Daniels got him on Q- Oh, Daniels beating him in rushing. Da- uh, Williams on rush. So QBR, uh, Caleb is at um, 46, and Daniels killing him on that, 73. He gets a lot of deep passes. So he's killing him on the QBR. I'll give you guys that. And RTG, uh, let me see. It should be around the 70. Um, um, Daniels is through the roof, 107. Hmm. Uh, I think he might be third in the lead behind um, Josh Allen and Golf. No, I'm sorry. He's also behind Lamar, Lamar and Burroughs. And then uh, Williams is 80, 88. Okay. So, That's not bad. So in pretty much every category, pretty much every category, Williams, I mean, Daniel is beating him besides touchdowns, all right? Now, what I was trying to do was just take it over the last three weeks because I saw it on TV, but I wasn't able to save it. In the last three weeks, it's totally the opposite. It's totally the opposite that Williams is destroying him. So people can pull up stats and say, oh, he's playing better than him. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not saying nothing bad about uh, Daniels. Daniels. Mm -hmm. The kid is playing good. Yes. What I don't like is when our kid plays good, there's a moving goalpost. Look who he played. Well, look who Daniel played. Well, they could about to have a common opponent. They're gonna, and, I, and I hate the fact there's a chance that he might be hurt this week. I'm like, oh, God. I wanted Dan. I wanted all. How y'all kids say? I wanted all the smoke. I wanted all the smoke. God damn it. So you can get, so you can keep receipts. <laughs> Woo! <I> keep the, <laughs> you want all the smoke so you can keep the receipts. Keep the receipts. <laughs> I wanted all the smoke, how the kids say. I wanted all the smoke real bad, so bad. And I, and I hope the kid uh, gets healthy, all joking aside. Yeah, but I really believe absolutely. that, um, me personally, we're going to handle our business against Washington this week. I'm not really worried about that game, uh, truth be told. Uh, but I just want to finish my point and we can move on to this game this week. Is Who do y'all play this week? Play Washington. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Chi-Town? No, in Washington. In DC, okay. Yeah, 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 in Washington. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they moved that game to 325 
Uh, That's CBS why we talked did. about the it last, last week. week. Yeah, and, and, and unfortunately, um, Daniel's got his ribs, you know, hurt. hurt um, again, he got and, barbecue ribs. Got barbecue ribs. I'm not gonna talk about that, though, man. But no, I mean, know, I, I mean, but yeah, okay, ribs, right, yeah. right. Out of respect, <laughs> that's what we just call it. You know, you mm -hmm. know, just talking about it. That when anybody have injured ribs, we just call it. They have barbecue yeah, ribs. Yeah, barbecue ribs. Not, nothing disrespectful. Yeah, them things. Them things tender right now. They definitely mm -hmm. tender. So I'm like, ah. You know, and I was like, man, I would, I really wanted all the smoke. I wanted him to come on. He play us, play y'all. We coming to Washington. Let's get it on. Um, <clears throat> I really expected for Caleb to outperform him. People could say that, um, well, yeah, you're going to say that, Neil, because you're a Bears fan. No, let me get into guru status. I'm going to tell you why I do believe that Caleb would have out, outperformed him in this week. Um, not nothing about Ben Bad and not trying to boo-boo on Daniels. Me, personally, I've seen Caleb. Already against serviceable defense. The Rams is a serviceable defense, okay? Y'all might look at the Rams' record and say they trash. Remember I told you guys last week, and we'll talk about that on our show we dropped later on. I told you guys last week the Rams will win the West. They beat Oakland, this, the Raiders this week. 49 to find off like flaws, but we, flies, but we'll get to that later. But if you go look at how many points the Rams are giving up, they have not been giving up a lot of points this year. Their defense has been actually pretty serviceable. Right. That's who Caleb went against. He also went against Houston defense. Keep in mind, there's only his second game of the season, the first game of the road. Lights are too bright for him. And I feel like he did pretty good to win his first game on the road. The offensive line we had at the time was trash. Keep in mind that we've made some changements in the offensive line. So we're not even the same team we played against Houston. But when you go look at who um, Dayton Daniels played, the best defense he's played this year is Baltimore. Well, Baltimore, everybody's scoring 30 on Baltimore. No disrespect. And I told you before the season started, Baltimore defense would not be the same. They lost too many people on defense. Yeah. The people just see Baltimore winning. Oh, he be good at Baltimore 10 5 and he, he played good against a good Baltimore 10 5 and 2. Yes, he, he did play good in that game. But all I'm saying is that this week, by far, would be the best defense the kids have seen all year. And I just want to see him do that against the Bears defense. The team has not given up more than 21 points in 12 weeks. Now, if he go out there, and even if he only got to win, if he go out there and drop 27 on us, I'm like, okay. Not saying he's not good, but I also feel like his role has been way more easier than Caleb. And he got he got Pittsburgh lurking later. You know Daniels. He, 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 he got because his, we played the NFC East. Don't say he. If you go look at the team, and everybody keep talking about Caleb ain't playing nobody. I'm like, we play. Well, they play Arizona. Okay, they play Carolina. We played Carolina. I mean, they played the Giants. We all know Giants don't have no offense. Cleveland don't got no offense. Cincinnati did, at that time defense was trash because both their defensive tackles was hurt. I'm like. Okay, let, 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 right now, like, okay, and, and they went down to Tampa Bay first game of the season, and he didn't look good, but I'm not going to hold his first road game against him because he's a, he's a rookie. Like, I'm saying don't hold Caleb first road game against him, against Houston. Both of their first road games were tough, and they played good teams, and they both took the L. So I'm taking the Houston game out, I'm going to take his Tampa Bay game out. If you look at the rest of the schedule since then – I promise you, Washington's schedule is way weaker than the Bears. Way weaker. And I know we ain't playing nobody, don't get me wrong, but I get tired of, oh, uh, uh, Caleb ain't playing nobody. I'm like, okay, if we're going to say that about him, let's make sure we say that about Daniels. And truth be told, when it comes to two rookie quarterbacks, it doesn't matter who they play because they're rookie quarterbacks. And if they can look good against a NFL professional team, it do not matter. Now, you can say that if you got a veteran quarterback, uh, yeah, this team looked good this year. They ain't playing nobody. But a rookie quarterback, I don't believe you should throw that in their face. They haven't played nobody because they're rookie quarterbacks. What are your thoughts on that bow tie, Bill? I mean, yeah, man, I'm just looking forward to the matchup at 325. <laughs> you know, regardless, you know, if, you know, Dane's plays or not. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, th this is just two good teams that are vying for position, you know, in their respective uh, conference and their respective divisions. Yeah. You know, Caleb Williams, man, is a. Uh, Again, man, his trajectory is 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 phenomenal. Now, Eberflus, 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 yeah, Eberflus, mm -hmm. man, learning that playbook. Yeah, you know now since he coming off the bye, he should look better than he did when they beat Jacksonville in London. Yes, sir. Right, Jane Daniels with Cliff Kingsbury, the offense coordinator for Washington. Right, has been looking good from day one. Mm -hmm. 
So hopefully that, you know, it'll be a great game, man. It's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a great game. And uh -huh. what, I, what I mean by low-scoring, we're looking at, I'm looking at, you know, 24-21, uh, uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, we're dropping 30 on them fools. We're dropping 30. Yeah. It, it, that'll be interesting. We're dropping 30. That'll be interesting. I, the minimum, minimum, minimum we're dropping is 27. Minimum 27. I mean, only other thing can stop us from hitting 27. I haven't seen the weather. If it's raining, you know, something like that, bad weather. But as long as it ain't raining, we drop a minimum 27. But I feel confident we'll drop 30 on them. We'll drop 30 on them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I really That'll believe be interesting. that. Because Washington defense is not that good. And the other thing that kind of was very alarming to me was, I'm like, okay. All right, people might say, oh, now you're hating. But I'm just saying, Carolina scored – I mean, Washington scored like 37 points this week, right? On Something the, crazy. On, ba on Baltimore? No, 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 no. This week against Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it really Jaden Daniels or is it the scheme? Both. Jaden Daniels is good, man. Right. I mean, I mean. You already know where I'm going with that. I'm not. We go, we I mean, all, you already know where I mean, I'm going with that. Cliff Kingsbury lost his job as an Arizona Cardinals head coach. Okay. So now he's an offensive coordinator. I mean, them. I mean, Jaden Daniels ain't, ain't ain't bad because he left Arizona State, where mm -hmm. uh, Herm L was recruiting him, and then he got with uh, Brian, uh, uh, who used to coach at Notre Dame. Oh God! Uh, anyway, he yeah. went with got with the coach at uh, LSU. Uh huh. And, Brian and he, Kelly. Brian Kelly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then yeah. and was up for the Heisman. Uh huh. You know. I mean, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, you know, this is not a hot take. He's good. All right. <laughs> yeah, he's you good. You got it all out? He's good. Oh, you got it all out? Okay, yeah. Uh, who who do you think, if I if I told you this, he'll have an RG3 season, uh, who else had a great rookie season? Uh, Matt Jones, great rookie season. Justin Herbert. Uh, no, no, Justin Herbert's still good. That's I'm talking, I'm talking about Matt, they, those two. They had two good rookie seasons, and then all of a sudden they kind of like uh, fell, off. fell off a little bit. If I told you, if you had to bet your money, one of those two would fall off next year, which one would you bet? Oh, Jaden Daniels. If you're going to give me the <laughs> choice between those two, because, you know, Caleb Williams, That's my Caleb point. Williams was a Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, Jaden Daniels was too. Yeah, but Caleb Williams, for whatever reason, he is – uh, dude, dog. Both of them are quarterbacks of the future, but if you're gonna give me, if we getting chased by a bear, I'm gonna be a step faster than you. Right, right, right. I got you. I got you. Yeah, for <laughs> right. sure. So if you yeah. give me them two, I, if, if that's the option, uh -huh. then Jaden Daniels okay. is gonna fall off. Yeah, if, not if, said he's gonna not fall off, but, but those if you, if you had to bet, right? If you had yeah, to bet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be me, me personally, uh, this is what I see uh, coming from Guru status. You know, me personally, people are gonna watch. Oh, he's a hater, but I was right about everything so far. So y'all keep hating, keep watching the show. Uh, <laughs> let me break down. Let me, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break down how it is. If you, if you get only forty percent right, you hey, famous words of Red Fox. Shut up, dummy. Um, <laughs> okay, if you get fifty. 50 to 50 to 55, 58, 60 percent right. You are a fan, a super fan, okay. Yeah. And if you getting 63 to 75 percent right, mm -hmm. you are a guru like Bowtie Bill. But when you getting 75 percent right, mm, 75 looking, plus, yeah, 75 plus. I'm not a guru no more. You I am now. Shy God. That's right. Shy God. I get a whole lot of shit right. Let me break it down for y'all. Let me say that right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all how it's going to go down. I've been waiting patiently. We ain't talking about Jayden Jay Jay Daniels, whatever his name, all year. Let me break it down to you. Jayden Daniels has played better than him, but I'm going to tell you right this. I'm not saying the kid won't be good. I say pump the brakes. There's more. I've seen more that makes me nervous about him than Caleb, and I'm going to tell you why. People might say, oh, he's an idiot. Look, he got five and a seven to Caleb. Let me break down what's going on with Caleb, all right? Caleb, they gave him too much too early, all right? They gave him a true... They opened up the whole playbook for him, and now they scaled it back, what they should have done to begin with. Washington scaled it back from the beginning. They calling college plays. They calling. I got did more research. They went to LSU, found out twenty plays that they really, boom. Oh, that's cute. I said that. I said that in you know, the previous you, podcast. You know where I'm going with this. 
Right, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. I said that in the previous podcast that they Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury is running the plays that he was running in college. Oh, that's real cute. That's all I'm going to say. Now, if Cliff Kingsbury don't have whatever plays they're running now, have some plays that look like that spinoff. For instance, let me give you an example of what I mean by a spinoff. Sure. If you watch the game when Chicago played Jacksonville in London, we've been doing a lot of screens this year. And then a couple of times we've done fake to the right and fake to the left. Well, in London, Caleb did a great job staying patient. He faked to the left, to Swift, fake to the right. And then you do you fake, you throw a lot of swings, a swing to the left, a screen to the left or right, right off the bat, or fake, boom. Oh, there's been times that we have faked the screen and hand the ball off. Okay, this is when you start to have, it look like the same play, but it ain't the same play. But when that fool did a fake to the left, fake to the right, threw it to DJ Moore? Uh, no, cold commit in the middle of the field. Oh, oh commit. You remember uh-huh. that? T- uh-huh. Now that, some people might say, anybody can do that throw. We're right. Anybody can do that. Okay, you got the right. What you miss what I'm trying to say is that that's when you know the coach is getting deep in the playbook. Oh, they, I know they've seen this play. They've seen this play, this play. They've seen this play, this play, this play. Uh, now for him with this. So now what that do, with next time we run the screen, people ain't going to be so quick to just take off. They're going to be like, where's, K, uh, where's Cole committed? So that's what I'm saying is that I don't know if Cleansburg have other plays that look similar to what they're running to spin off of it. And the reason why I question Cleansburg is because every time he was in the pros in the past, his offense always started this good. It, you go look at what, what Murray did, his first nine games in Arizona, they were five and two, something like that, and their offense, and in the second year, the same thing happened. Cleansburg offense uses his clank, clank, clank in November and December. Now, don't get me wrong, I do think that Daniels loves football more than Murray. Murray wants to play Call of Duty and all that type of stuff. And y'all don't know what we're talking about. Do you research? But Murray loves him some Call of Duty. He, the, the boy just, I mean, it's not boy, but I will say Daniels definitely wants it more than him. I, and I've never met either one of them. You know, about, go ahead. Right. I mean, you know, and, and, and the thing about the NFL, and, and we just preaching to the choir right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, viewers and listeners that over time they're gonna got they're gonna get film. Oh yeah. And that's, that's why and that. that's why uh Kingsbury always starts out great the first eight, nine games. And then <laughs> that film gets out, that film is shared, and then at that point, defensive uh, coordinators catch up and they know what to play. And they looking at your First, second, and third options. Mm-hmm. They know your first, second, and third options. So, yeah, that's but good. hey, and, so and, far so good. Yeah, so far so good. Mm-hmm. But I come back, come back to see me in December, uh, November, right around Thanksgiving with Daniel. Now I hope he do do good because I rather for Washington to be good than them Cowboys. That we don't got to hit nothing about these Cowboys down here. But long longevity wise, I'm like, okay, there's a couple of things I'm looking at here. There are receivers wide open for Washington. And there has been some time he threw some dimes and touch passes. I ain't said a kid ain't threw no dimes because everybody be going crazy. All I'm saying is that I've seen Caleb, and what I try to explain to you guys, both of them anticipate well. Checkmate. Both of them do. If you want to say Daniels is a better runner, cool. Truth be told, that scares me. The boy is a little light in the ass. There's nothing wrong with dropping back. Somebody's not open, scramble and run. But design runs, it makes me nervous. He look like an ass. Washington needs to slow that shit down. They run it, they do design runs with that kid, to me, personally, too much. But I'm not going to ever cheer for the injuries, but that just makes me nervous. But anticipation, boom. But what I have seen, though, that, uh, that I feel Caleb is already better than him already is, and this is going, this is when you, and I'm not saying Jaden Daniels cannot do it. I haven't seen that much on a pro level. Okay, he's done the throwing the bomb down the sideline, dropping in the bucket. That's good touch. To me, that's not really throwing the guy open. That's just good timing. Throwing the guy open to me is crossing passes in the red zone. I'm seeing Caleb throw guys open. 
I'm seeing him throw, especially that beautiful touchdown to uh, um, um, Williams and, and the back shoulder. And most, that, that was ridiculous. He threw it to his back shoulder before he even came out of it. I wish I should have had the tape on it. So I'm seeing him throw guys open already. So my thing is that I do believe William, Daniel's going to be good. It's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that this. They call plays for him the first uh, 20 plays they brought from LSU. Also, one thing that Daniels did do better than Kayla off the bat is people got to remember, Daniels played in four or five different offenses in college. Mm -hmm. So he's used to having to pick up a new offense. He did a, he did an amazing job. Yes. Caleb has never been in, in any other offense but your boy in, out in USC. Lincoln Riley. Yeah, for the last three, four years. He got a little spoiled. Yeah. So he struggled That's a little bit. That's the only bit. thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he struggled a little bit. But you see the difference. They closed down the playbook some, and now they and and now you know. And I'm hearing Bear playing stuff like DJ Moore said, "Man, the kid is bossy. He a leader. He's making us stay after practice long. He want to work on this. He want to work on that. Like, I like that. Right. So so going back to your point on on on, on the quarterback throws, mm -hmm. they both have the ability to drop dimes. They yes. They both have the ability to anticipate. Yes. What you're saying is, which I agree with, is Caleb Williams' ball placement. It's so he throw, so his ability to throw the ball on every throw within the wide receiver's catch radius so far is better than Daniels. Right. And, and, right. and Daniel receivers a little bit more open. So when I'm seeing like – like and Daniel receivers are like this the, this the DB and this the wide receiver. And the pros – this much separation, that's considered to be wide open. Wide open. That's wide open in the pros. Yeah, yeah. That's running around butt naked. That's running around butt naked. That's really like, that's what we call it. And he butt naked. Somebody put some clothes on him. Where the defense at? That's butt naked. Okay. Right. But when I'm seeing, when I'm seeing a DB like right here, like close to this, 12 inches couches, or less. Like this. Yeah, and, 12 and, inches and Caleb, or less. Right. Throwing on this side, I'm seeing that already. And, and, and so. What's going to happen when you know more and more of the defense? I'm not seeing a lot of that from 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 Jalen. And I ain't saw it. And then people say, oh, you, hey, you don't watch something? I do. I watch all the games. Trust me. I'm not hating on the kid. I'm just saying you got to know what you're looking at. For me to, for me to sit here and fix my mouth and say, I believe Caleb is better than him right now. I believe Caleb will be better than him. And this is the reason why. Because of the fact that type, some of the passes that Caleb is doing, there's guys that's been in the league two, three years that's not even doing that yet. Like, and not a good, not a great ones are, of course. You, you Strauss and you, you, you know, and, and Love. I mean, and and truth be told, right now, Caleb playing better ball in, in Love because nah, Love has been, nah, no yeah, he not, is. No Love has been bro. very erratic. On, yes, yes. Love, on, Love, man. Love has seven interceptions, dog, and he only played yeah. four games. Right. He only I played four. I understand that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Love, he, come on, man, dog. Would you rather have, as of right now, would you rather have Love or Caleb Williams? Definitely Caleb Williams. Yeah, Love, <laughs> Love. I'm gonna tell you something. Love is great. I picked Green Bay to win the, win the division. But remember, I did. Yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I yeah, you Detroit. got Detroit. Yeah, I, I, about to say, I picked, yeah, I picked yeah, Green Bay right, to win right, the division. Right, you know? right. Yeah, you looked right. at me like, no, I didn't. It's a day. I picked Green Bay. Well, to win well, no, no, no. It, you're right. You took so, me back to my memory, but mm -hmm. it's only because I'm watching this Briggs jersey. Chicago <laughs> Bird said, Yeah, I did pick Green Bay. I said, What? Yeah, you yeah, did. I did. Before right, right. I'm started, just saying, before just saying, just, started. Yeah, I picked Green Just right off the reel. Just right off the reel. Because I'm shot guy. I don't get too much wrong. But anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you know, but as of right now, before the season start, I would, yes, I would have said love, yeah, but I ain't saying love, Caleb is better than love. I'm just saying right now, Caleb playing better than love, yeah. Man, dude, dog. So you're saying that love is playing the fourth best in the in the, in the division? Now we, we, now, we're now getting deep into another part of it. I, get, I <laughs> right, answer, right. but to me personally, I think the fourth best quarterback is play, playing right now, yeah, it's Sam Donald by far. It's definitely Sam Donald. You got to know what you're looking at. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna, okay, okay, that. Yeah, okay. yeah, let's get back to the bird. Yeah, yeah, we get back to the bird. We can do yeah, our next podcast. I respectfully disagree yeah. about that. Well, we get on, we get on the next okay. podcast. Yeah, Sam Donald right now is the worst quarterback in NFC North. You got don't let the, don't let the media fool y'all. We have a, we're gonna brought another podcast after this. Right, it's gonna be called Overview of the NFL. Yeah, and uh, we gonna we gonna do that right now and drop it on Thursday. But trust me, when, when I get done with my point, I'm gonna I'm smoke him on that. So okay. make sure y'all watch that. But um, just right now though, I just, my whole thing is that I just see. Uh, him doing things that a lot of quarterbacks don't do. And it's only a sixth game. And some people say, but he ain't playing nobody. You don't think I'm, what I'm trying to say is some of them touchdown passes, it wouldn't matter who they're playing against. It was going to be a touchdown anyway. That's how much ball placement it was. You know, so 
for the fact that he can see that already, the only thing, there's only two things can stop Caleb from uh, from getting at least, I, I thought, I just wanted, I told the beginning of the season, I just said, give me 24 and 12. 24 touchdown, 12 interceptions, I'm cool with that because of the fact, you know, he's a rookie. 24 and 12 is good oh, yeah. for a rookie, you know. Now I'm like, nah, uh-uh. For us to go where I think we need to go, I'm going to need 30 and 9. Yeah, and I think he can do it. That's lofty, bro. You got nine already. Yeah, well, that's lofty. Okay, so I'm not so saying you go he's going to get it now. I'm, right. not, I'm saying what I well, I think what we need to make to the playoff and and really kick some ass around here. You know, I need thirty and nine. Right. Okay. So right now he's nine and five mm -hmm. through six games. Yep. That's but the last third. Three, last three seven and one. All right. Well, we we, we I got you. We, we go season. through six you. games. Okay. That's a third. Yes, sir. So if we extrapolate those numbers, mm -hmm. that's 27 and 15. Mm -hmm. So you saying you want him to increase the touchdowns mm -hmm. and decrease interceptions. Right. Now, I might not get the interception, but I think I got a great chance of the, the, intercept, I mean, of the touchdowns. Touchdowns. I think he's – Caleb Man, got a little, if he, little if, Willie Nelson. He liked to gamble around every once in a while. You got to know when to roll and know, know when to hold him. <laughs> he still got a little – he liked to gamble a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. You know, but – um, Because it, because he's looking at his ability. Mm -hmm. It's going to come to a point to where as he continues to maturate, he's going to recognize I can do this, I cannot do that. Right, right. now he's looking at his attributes, his ability to throw – and doing that and having success with it, that, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like real quick. It's almost like LeBron really. when he hit his first three pointer, then he fell in love with the three, three. versus True. going down to the block, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now he jacked up three because he hit the first two, <laughs> right? Facts. So, that's true. Right. That's true. Right. So saying. Kayla Williams was doing that. He was. What I like about it is they they he's he's toned it in and you can see him stay calm in the pocket. I don't know what happened after that color uh that coast game. Coast game. But he they've kind of told him to stop all that running around. But also the the the, the guard play and the center play has gotten so much better so he can still up in the pocket more. He so he and looking, he and, up. and it's, yeah, it's feeding out all over the place and looking like a duck and they underwater. Sped up the, uh, 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 and they, a call you know, calling the play, getting play in, sped it up. Yeah. They, to they, where it's still can Talking his ear. Exactly. They so what he's what both top builders saying is that they've been on if the key to the Bears, I'm gonna tell you this, you watch the Bears this Sunday, is do not let the Bears get a first down. Cause if they get a first down, that's when they get on the ball. And that's when they get the, the, the rhythm going. The rhythm. They, if you, the, the key to the Bears, you cannot let them get a first down. I can tell you our weakness. You let us get a first down, <laughs> then they get on the ball, and then Caleb start going like this. And now they're like Bowtie Bill is saying they're able to talk to them in the headset up until the 15 seconds left on the clock. That's slowing the game down for them because the coach can say, hey, they're in the cover three. Like the slide nickel cornerback might be blitzing. Make sure you slide the line to the left. They can talk to them all the way up to 15 seconds. They can tell them everything. Bowtie Bill on the field, butt naked, looking at the women. Yeah. <laughs> they can tell them everything. <laughs> yeah. Let me refresh your memory on that, on that Tuesday morning, on that Monday morning meeting. Mm -hmm. Let exactly. me refresh your memory. Yeah, this that look we talked about, and we was in the Tuesday morning me meeting. You know, they see that look, they might have a name for that look. Oh, they, let's say they call it Red Dog Rover. Oh, they, oh, they got a Red Dog Rover. Oh, okay, he told me if I see, Bowtie Bill coach told me if I get a Red Dog Rover, we want to do a slot, or we want to slide to the left, do a fade to the right. So they can talk to him, and that's what's all going on. So it's a, this good coaching in that, in that aspect. But before we get up out of here, Bowtie Bill, uh -huh. who you got? Washington. Because right now they're saying Daniels might not play, and I hope he do. The backup is Mariotti. Mariotti, you know, he, he's a veteran. Marcus he, Mariotti. Wasn't he first overall pick, too? I think so, over Daniels. If he uh, was, uh, him if, or Winston. I think Mariotti was the first. I think he was. Yeah, yeah, Marcus Mariotti. So we already got Sunshine, who was the first overall pick. You know, we already took care of Sunshine. You know what I'm saying? You know? <laughs> who you got in the game, both time? I got, I, I got, I got town because of that defense. They bring that defense. They packing that defense with them. Only giving up 101 points, 14 touchdowns a game. Yes, I sir. mean, 14 points a game. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you like this. Um, as far as I got two things going on, and we're gonna get out of here. Mm -hmm. um, for this season, I'm perfect. I said we'd be four and two after six games, uh, but I got two uh, before the season. I picked us to lose to Jacksonville and beat the Colts. So for the season, I'm 4-2. I got those two. Everything else I got right. 
before the season. Since the season, though, I'm five and one because I predicted last week that we'd beat Jacksonville because I didn't expect us to be this good this fast. So my end season, I'm five and one on the Bears. Before the season, I picked every game before the season four and two. This week, I picked us to beat Washington. I picked us. I picked us before the season started to win the next three games after the bat. And you was like, "Wait a minute, Neil." I picked us. I just because you guys are wondering what I picked. My final record for the Bears this year was eleven and five. And you was like, and I said my my floor would be nine and eight, be nine and eight. So I had us going to playoff. America's team. Woo! Bow top Bill, get us on out of here, baby. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And don't forget about the notification button. Uh, drop a dime or two in the comment section. Tell us what you think, you know, how we doing, what we doing. You know, give us your opinion. You know, give us your lens about, you know, everything that we're talking about. We appreciate everything you're doing. Keep on riding with us, and we're going to keep on driving. And don't forget, tell all your family members and friends, the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. Appreciate right. you everything that you're doing. I appreciate that bow tie bill, man, man. I just want to tell you, man, I'm so excited about these Bears, man. They just keep moving the goalposts on my quarterback. They're going to let the boy get play rookie of the week, man. It's, just, it's hard being a Bears fan, man. They, they starting to hit on us like the Cowboys, man. Oh, Damn. come on, man. America's team. That's what happened with you, the America's team, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get that body up. your whole shot tie Neil to my left, my boy. Bow tie bill. Baby, we out of here, man. Thank you for watching the Telescope Podcast. You know what it is. Peace, man. Peace. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs>